I'm an immigrant. My parents are immigrants. I immigrated here from Brazil when I was eight years old. And so I grew up in a house where money was very scarce, which again, I'm sure a lot of people did as well. So I grew up hearing that we just didn't have it. Whatever you asked for that was extra, we don't have the money for it. Don't even ask because we don't have it. So money was seen as something that was very scarce and it was only for necessities and extras were just not available. And so I brought that anxiety around money, that scarcity into adulthood, right? So I would I would vacillate like between spending a crazy amount of money. As soon as I would get the money, I would spend it because I'm like, oh, I don't know if I'm going to lose it and it's going to be gone. So let me just go spend it. And also just having money for the first time in my life. I was like, oh my God, I have money for the first time and you just want to spend it. And then I went the other opposite direction, which was like, I was hoarding money. I would just save, 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 save. And then the more you save and the more you see it increasing in your bank account, the more anxiety you get because you're like, oh my God, what if I lose all of this? And it's Mm -hmm. like, and then when the time came, and so I, I hoarded a lot of money into a savings account for a long time. When the time came for me to pay off my student loans, which meant like throwing big, I was throwing like thousands and thousands of dollars into my student loans on my student loans every month to pay it down. For me to get to that point, I had to believe that I was going to make more money again, right? Because paying down debt means overcoming your scarcity mentality. Because if you believe that you will never make that money again, you're never going to let it go and let it go towards things like paying off debt or investing because you want to hang on to it, Mm -hmm. right? And so Nobody ever told me that, wow, paying off debt means that I have to overcome my scarcity mentality. I have to believe in myself enough that I'm going to make more money, that I'm going to make that money back and then some, Mm -hmm. right? And once I was able to, to overcome that, I was able to pay off my student loans. I was able to start putting money into the stock market because when you have fear in your money and you like, you strangle your money, it will never grow. Like when you strangle something, it can't thrive, right? Because you're strangling it. So you actually have to let it go in order for it to like grow and thrive and like actually make you more money. So overcoming whatever limiting beliefs you have around money is extremely important so that you can make decisions that will actually help you instead of holding you back. Yeah. It's like, you have to believe it, it will come back. Like you're going to be able to make it back. It's money just flows. Like don't, don't hold on to it so tight. I love that like metaphor of strangling. It can't grow if, you, if you're strangling it. Yeah. What, are there any other common emotional barriers that you see with people? I mean, there's so many. There's so much money trauma that I think people have not pinpointed. I did want, uh, one of the episodes that I did on diversifying was about money trauma where, you know, um, one of the listeners that we were interviewing grew up like in an abusive home. And she saw how her parents abused her, the kids by spending money on themselves and telling the kids that they didn't have any money, right? Like they wouldn't even have money for food. And then the parents would go and spend money on themselves. Like they would just blow (sighs) through the money. So that, so she was so afraid to spend money that she wouldn't even like buy herself new clothes. She would be afraid to buy new clothes because she would see a jacket and she would see the price tag. And she's like, I can buy um, three loaves of bread with this and two packets of cheese. And she could, she would see food, right? She would look at a jacket and she would see, wow, I can buy so much, this much food. And so until she made that connection that that's what she was doing in her mind, she wasn't able to like really enjoy her money. And she was, she was doing very well. She had a great job Mm -hmm. where she was a creative director and she was making good money, but she couldn't get herself to the point where she could spend it and enjoy it. So I think we talk a lot about saving and paying off debt, but we don't talk about how to like spend money. You know, how do we spend money in a way that's joyous in a way that doesn't cause stress in a way that it doesn't trigger, you know, some fear in us like that's a skill too. Right. And so therapy is obviously amazing. I think therapy is something that will help you if you have this kind of money anxiety I highly, highly recommend therapy because it will help you work through a lot of this. And a lot of therapists are starting to talk about financial trauma and, you know, how that's impacting your money. They're seeing a lot more of that. So um, I would definitely, definitely seek out help. 
Yeah. Yeah. It's such a big part. I, I think everybody has some sort of belief about money and it's, it's, I think everybody has to overcome some sort of, whether it's habits you picked up from your parents or beliefs you picked up from parents or someone, someone else. Yeah. Yeah. Some people like I have the opposite experience where their parents always paid for everything and they always had a lot of money in the home. And now that they're out on their own, they're like, Oh, I don't have like this bottomless piggy bank to like dip into. And they're just blowing through each paycheck. Right. Because now they're believing that the money will always, always be there. And that's the other extreme, like, Oh, money will always be there. So I'm just going to keep spending it. And I'm like, okay, well, you don't want to like go too much to that side either. But you want to have a balance between the two. You don't want to be hoarding and you don't want to be spending everything. Everything's about balance. <laughs> 